Hello guys, this is Howling Westy. And this is Potent Plum. And today we've got a Forza Motorsport 6 video. Yeah, so today we're going to be comparing the 1965 Mini Cooper S with the more modern John Cooper. Is that the John the Cooper Works? 2012 Mini John Cooper Works GT? Uh, um, is it the S or the GT? Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do, you know, we're going to do it. We've left both cars standard, so we've not done any modifications. And what we're going to do essentially is um, do a comparison both of them. So they're both like they're the stock models. So yeah. So we're going on. We're, we're doing both of the tests on the Daytona Intel Speedway. Is that I even? think that's international. Yes, that would probably make more sense. So Corey, so which car do you think is going to be your favourite just from the start? I mean, the 1965 Mini Cooper S has the Domino's Pizza. Yes. Oh, we did decide to put a Domino's um, Pizza motif on it, but I think. Style points definitely go to the 1965. I think, right off the bat, you can say it's almost like you're looking at where, where we've come from with the minis and where they've evolved to now, so a more modern day. So I think this was me driving the Astro Mini at this point, because Corey tried it and didn't really get on with the steering wheel. Because yeah, I was playing this on a Thrustmaster um, TMX, I think it's called. So yeah, and Corey couldn't get on with the steering wheel. So I thought, okay, we'll get some gameplay using the steering wheel. So here's, you know, sort of a third person view. As you can see, I do like the aesthetics of the car. What's your opinion, Corey? I think it looks very nice. You know, I'm also known as the Thrustmaster. Oh my god. But, um... Yeah, I think overall, it's like, when I was driving this um, car on the track, it did feel very nippy, even on the stock model, without race brakes, without like, a better drivetrain, without better engine modifications. It seemed really nippy, especially around the corners. So as you can see, there's a little bit of, I think this, we're coming up to a hairpin bend, and it just seems so nippy around the corner. Like, I'm not the best forward as a driver, I'll admit, but just going around the corner, it does seem to handle really well, like, just sort of going around the corners. Do you have anything to say, Corey? Yeah, price-wise, it's very good value. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, like, in-game especially, it is, like, sort of very... It's a very good car in terms of the pricing as well. I mean, it, it starts in the E-Class, so speed-wise, it's nothing compared to the new. But in terms of, sort of, racing and styling, it definitely... I think on styling, I'd probably have to win it out on the, over the new one. What's your opinion? It definitely looks a lot, a lot nicer. I like the look of this one. It's just the dominoes, isn't it? No, I mean it's a nice small car. It's, it's actually mini. Yeah, that is the th that is the thing. It's like this is while well, this is a partly in game thing. I'm going to sort of bring in a bit of real life context here. I think that with the older mini, it's sort of that's sort of where it started. I think that's also where the minis finished. Like once it started getting a lot more modern, as it passed about 2000, and then when BMW bought them out, they did seem to get a lot bigger, which was a bit weird. They kind of weren't mini anymore. And that's the thing. So I think we are sort of drawing towards the end of the lap now. So is there any final conclusions you'd like to say about the uh, old mini car from 1965? Mr. Bean had one. Hmm, let's, let's say quite a lot of people actually had them at least, yeah. Like, it's with the old ones, I don't think they're such an iconic car anymore, I must admit. It was sort of the old ones are very sort of that iconic British car. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be right back with the new... Okay guys, so now we are um, moving on to the more modern mini, which was... The John Cooper Works GP, not GT. So, yeah. So, um, what's your first thoughts on the new Mini, Corey, compared to the old one? Whether it be in-game or whether it be actual sort of real-life heritage of the new Mini. The heritage is a bit lost, isn't it? Yes, I will admit, compared to what the, um, like, compared to the old Mini, sort of that iconic, like, because... It almost seems weird because like you do seem to find sort of almost like air freshers and sort of like little, um, little souvenirs and shops, and it's like oh, it's always the old minis, not the new ones. Because I mean, who wants that? And what is it? Is a good-looking car dangling from sort of, like the baubles and like dangling from your mirrors in your car? You sort of you want the original sort of mini with the heritage. I mean, the steering wheel has been changed. Yeah. So um, compared to the old one, it's like I must look round the corners. You can definitely tell this is a much more modern car in terms of driving it around. 
it's six gears. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you do have a six-speed gearbox, and round the corners, you can definitely tell that it's um like this is the one thing I like about Forza. It almost seems a bit realistic compared to the actual cars. So driving this compared to the old one, you can tell that round the corners, it understeers a lot less because the steering is well more modern, I guess. So you, you can sort of be a bit more on the ragged edge with the corners. You don't have to sort of slow down completely for all the corners. Like some obviously you do have to slow down for, but like going around here, you can take them a lot quicker. I've not end up in a ditch where you would in the old minis. In game, this does cost a lot more than the 1965 one. Yes, I think it's probably it's. I'm not entirely sure what the pricing. I will um, find the prices online and then put them on the screen right about now. But um, I think, given the, these are just both stock models, you obviously could put upgrades on both of them and definitely change, you know, a lot of the characteristics of the car and improve them. But I think just going on the stock model, it's like if I was buying this to seriously race, I probably would buy the more modern one over the old one, just for the fact that it's a higher class. Unless you're going for like a specific race that requires you to be in one of the older minis, I would definitely pick this one. It's, it's, it's not a heritage, but it's got the performance, which I think a lot of people want. I did have a bit of a mess up here with the driving, but... I mean, it looks like a mini. Yeah, it looks like a mini, but it just doesn't feel like a mini. It's a bit... it's too mod... it's too big, really, if I'm honest, for an actual mini. Yeah, any final thoughts, Corey, before we wrap up? Uh, I wouldn't call it a Mini anymore. Mm, yeah, but I'd say, so if you're looking for a car that will win you a lot of races, definitely get the more modern one. If you want, them, if you want a Mini just for sort of the iconicness and sort of the recognition, go for the older one. But yeah, I think that draws our video to a conclusion. So I've been Peter Plum. I've been Harry Westy. See you later.